Hello everybody and welcome to the part number four of Let's Play Animal Crossing New Horizons. So I have some bad news. As you can see from Tom Nook's little monologue, it is March 22nd. So I skipped a day, but I didn't really skip the day. I recorded it that day, but for some reason the file got corrupted. And I tried to recover it using uh, some softwares that I never heard of. Nothing worked. So the whole day went down the drain and I was feeling so sad yesterday. Because a lot happened. We met some new characters, we had some new projects to work on. It really brought me down. But I think there's a way I can make up for it. I can't go back and redo everything because the game has that autosave feature. But there's something else I can do. But first, let's go hear what Tom Nook has to say for today, shall we? Now for today's news. Some stunning news just in. We're moving forward with construction of the Bayberry Museum. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> Neither Platters nor I imagined we'd be getting ready to build a museum on his very first day on the island. We're very grateful to everyone's cooperation. You mean my cooperation? Because I don't think no one else donated something. Anywho, we've started construction for the museum at the very spot where Platters had his tent, which hopefully we can relocate it. So sorry to inconvenience you all like this for today. This is a shame to suspend your scientific endeavors. However, I hope having our splendid new museum completed by tomorrow will make up for this little setback. Building this game is fast, man. <laughs> They're gonna build an entire museum in a day. That was a little message Platters asked me to pass on to all of you. That's all for me, time for all. For you all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. Okay, Mr. Tom. So, as you can see, we have our new home with our lovely pink roof. I actually, this might be my favorite color for the roof and it's gonna stay like this. Unless we have some themed roof colors and all of that stuff. Like in New Leaf, we have the mermaid roof and all of that. That was a lot of fun. So, to make up for the lost footage, uh, I got an idea. I have a second Switch and I've been playing the game there on my own. Because even though I've been playing a lot here, in this island for the channel, I'm not going to be playing a whole lot later on because a lot of things are just going to become too mundane and maybe not as interesting to watch as we go on and progress with the series. And I wanted to have an island just for me and to play on my own and to really spend all my time on. <laughs> because I'm that addicted. And what happened on that day, on that island, was pretty much what happened on this island. So I thought I could show you guys screenshots that I've taken, because I'm taking a lot of screenshots on that island. And uh, I guess that will kind of make up for it. You guys kind of get a picture of what exactly happened, literally. So for starters, our airport has opened, so we can now travel to other people's islands. And we can also go on little tours and bladders arrive to the town. We also got a letter from our mom. Okay, be careful with that mailbox. <laughs> from our fake mom, my dear Claudia, whenever I see a plane, I think of you and wave at those airborne strangers with all my might. I had no idea how many flights took each to cough each day. My arm is exhausted. Enjoy your fresh start fake mom, thank you. And what she sent me in the mail was actually some fruits. And turns out this fruit is completely random, so it's not like in Eel Leaf, if you had a specific fruit, Isabel would give you like another specific fruit. It's all set. Here, it's random. So even though in my other island I also have peaches, I got pears on that island and here I got cherries. So maybe someday I can do a little switcheroo do a little trade of fruits. That would be fun. I already planted one cherry tree. It's growing. I think it's this one next to Dom's tent. This one over here, it's so teeny tiny. It's still growing. Then Tom Nook said that our house was done and that it was going to cost us 98,000 bells. And unfortunately we can't pay miles. So this is gonna take forever. <laughs> And not only that, 
It turns out that Timmy and Tommy are planning to open up a store in the island, so they ask me for help. They want me to gather up 30 wood, 30 hardwood, 30 softwood, and 30 iron nuggets, which is gonna be the tough part. I already gathered up all the wood necessary. I'm just missing the iron, because it's such a tough thing to gather. But here is the wood that I gathered. That is done. So I don't need to worry about that. Then on the beach, I found Gulliver. And I don't want to explain exactly what happens when you meet him. Because he's probably gonna come back. And you guys are gonna see what exactly happens. But my gosh, I, I love Gulliver. He's super funny. So Bladders came to town and he was in the cutest tent ever. And turns out that to open up the museum, we just needed to donate 15 items to him. It could be fossils, it could be fish, it could be bugs, it could be anything, just 15 items. So that was rather easy to complete and that's why he's already trying to open up the museum. It happened so quick, you guys didn't even get to meet him. I, I doubt he's gonna be there. It's probably all closed up, being ready to be built. Man, it's a shame. I love Bladders, he's probably my favorite Animal Crossing character. Him and Celeste, I love them both. Yeah, it's all closed up, we can't see Bladders. You know, Bladders and I are afraid of bugs, so we, we got along pretty well. <laughs> but by meeting Bladders, we unlocked a few new DIY recipes. He gave us the recipe for a shovel and also a recipe for the best thing ever. The vaulting pole, everybody. So now... Wait, no. <laughs> Where's the river? Now we can hop on to the other areas of our islands and we can explore a little bit more. And I really like how they're doing this, like very gradually. You don't get to explore the island all at once. It's all very slowly. And even though I have the vaulting pole now, I can't reach up to the hills. I There's flowers up there, there's tulips, but I can't get up there yet. Oh, it's so exciting. I can't wait to be able to fully walk around the island and get to see it all. By the way, so far I haven't found any um, pitfall seeds. I don't know if they're in the game. I've only found fossils. I know we don't have gyroids in this game, but like I was hoping for some exciting stuff. <laughs> oh, we have another fossil over here. Terrific. But Bladders isn't working. He's too busy building the museum. Well, well. Also, if you were paying attention, there's a little gold spot next to Bladders' tent. Where, well, where his tent used to be. Because now it's gonna be a big museum. Over here. This gold spot, if we dig it up with a shovel that Bladders also gave us a recipe for, we get some money. It's truly a wonderful thing. And as you can see, the spot is still glowing. So the deal with this thing is that if you bury money in it, a money tree grows. But you need a good sum of money to make that happen. Luckily, I do have some money. I already planted one money tree. I guess we can have another. <laughs> Look, we're struggling. We need the money. Let me put this one away. I kind of wish it would all just go automatically into the pocket, but it doesn't. And that pretty much sums up everything that has happened in that day. Now I'm actually playing in the morning. I don't know if Daisy Mae is coming to town, because usually Joan would show up in your town every Sunday morning. And it said on Twitter that she was going to visit, but I don't know if we need to be more developed or not, because we don't even have stores. And we only have two people living here. I am so excited to have more villagers move in. I'm really, really looking forward to see who is gonna move in next. Oh, by the way, do you see this? I found out what it is. It's a clam. It's a manila clam. Manila is my favorite flavor of clam. That's a lie. I love Vietnamese clams. <laughs> but since we have a shovel, we can actually hit rocks and get stuff out of them. And we do need iron, so let's... Let's just hope for the best. I might actually go on a tour today. Because we need the item. We need the item for the shop. And it's been like a real struggle. I completed something. 
Okie dokie. We got this one over here. Hit rocks five times. I hit more than five, but I'll take that. <laughs> We're also doing really well when it comes to the Nook Miles thingy. And I'm really glad I unlocked the Nook Miles Plus thingy because it's now harder to get Nook Miles. These things over here, you know, they start out by, you know, catch 10 fish, you know, very easy. Now they're asking for 100 fish. <laughs> Like, that's a bit much, don't you think? So this is gonna take forever to complete. But at least the Nook Miles Plus, those are easier to get. You know, it's just catch fish, sell some stuff, plant some flowers, really easy stuff. Let me go see if I can find another rock. Dom, hello, how is you? Good morning, Nidaru. Getting an early start. Sure am. Don't forget to cool down after a workout. You don't want to overheat. Plus, it helps build even more muscle. Okay, thanks for the tip, bro. Even though I'm not working out. The whole country is kind of like working on low fuel. <laughs> a lot of things are closed because of the virus. And so we just stay at home and we do... And we just sit around and sleep and that's all we do lately. It's been raining a lot too, so we can't even go out for walks. It it, it sucks. We're stuck. Let me see if I can get the butterfly. I've already caught it off camera. But it would be good to catch, catch it on camera. I caught a paper kite butterfly. Do I read it, fly it, or spread it on a toast? Don't spread it on a toast! You crazy woman! Let me go head up this rock, see what's happening, what's cracking today. Oh, this is the money rock. And we also got a pill bug, which I don't know if I've got yet. I should probably go after it. <laughs> oh shoot, I missed one. It's fine. I'm gonna miss both. Both the bug and the, the last spells. Oh, I got the pill bug. That was lucky. That's tough act to swallow. No, the hardest thing to swallow is the fact that I missed one bag of money. <laughs> I thought I got them all. It's fine. We still got rich. We got most of it. It's cool. It's fine. We can also hop through holes. Very exciting stuff, indeed. I need to go talk to Tom. Let me see if we have any other rocks. I st I'm still not very familiar with the map layout. And I still need to give you guys a little tour of the place. Because I haven't. So we'll go for that. As soon as we're done with this. So far we got... Mm, three fossils, we're missing one. And we have another rock. Okay, not going after the bug this time. I need the item, man. Give me the item. <laughs> what the heck? I don't need stone, I have plenty of stone. I also don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Full already? See, I have too much stone. I don't need this much stone. I have 30. For what? Nothing. Ooh. Hello. My pockets are full. <laughs> Let me drop by the fossil, okay? I just need to read this and be done with it. To whoever finds this, I was cleaning and found this DIY recipe written on a piece of paper that I'd use as a bookmark. I wanted to get my idea out into the world, so I put it in this bottle. i love for you to try it out. Sky! Andy Crafts Lover. A natural square table. Interesting. I'm gonna have to take a look at that. Okay. Do we have any other rocks in this place? I don't think we do. Okay, so... Let's take a look at the map. Actually, Nook Miles. They always come first. We got some bugs. 
terrific. Was that all? That was all. So if we take a look at our map, you can see that it is divided into five different parts, at least for now, because we can't access the hill, so we can't travel faster. And I guess we can start by going to the top left part of the map and just make our way to the right. I'll show you guys around. And if you have any ideas for what I could do on the island, let me know. I'm open for ideas. I was actually... I don't know why I always go... Like, that's my first instinct when it comes to, like, creating stuff. Even in Minecraft, I would always build islands in a shape. <laughs> I'm thinking about turning the center part of the map into, like, a heart. A heart-shaped island, and I have my house in the middle of it. <laughs> Because, you know, you have the two rivers connecting in the in the middle, and that could be like the tip of the heart. We just need to do the top, and the hills kind of form that shape too. So I don't think it would be too hard to do. I just don't know if I can pull it off. Like, that's the scary thing. On my other island, I picked the shape basically because there's a river shape that kind of looks like a star. At least half of a star. And I'm planning to do the other half of the star as a river and i don't know if that's gonna work but i have those ideas and if you pick a map based on that idea and then it doesn't work it's just gonna crush you <laughs> i'm a bit scared but even if it doesn't work on my other island i don't i don't care but that's like the only idea i have for the island so far I kind of have like a team planned out. I want it to be very natural and cutesy, full of pastel colors and all of that good stuff. But that's, that's all I got, you know? But up on this part of the map, this is where we got not a lot of trees, but we have a beach area. Right over here. And we have these rocks right here too. And if you look very closely, in the distance, we can see some islands. Which I guess is supposed to be representing like the other people's islands. You're not playing alone, it's kind of like a little reminder that there are other people who got into this Snook program and they are and are exploring their desert island as well. They're starting out just as you. Now going to this part of the map, let's open up the map right here. This is the part that I was thinking about turning into a heart. So we would have the bottom right here, I guess. Or maybe I could even line it up with um, with the sail over here. Make the tip of the heart to be exactly like right here to match the shape of the cliff right there. And then just build up. I feel like it could work. We would be disconnecting the, um, the hill from the, the land, but I, if it works, it will be really pretty, right? And then we have a waterfall over here. Well, actually, it would be cool to keep this little area of the island. Because we could put a staircase up. Have a house here. Build a bridge to the other side. And then have another house over here. Because here we have the heart pond. Here it is. And there's a little fishy. I actually want to try and catch it. Because... I don't know, I always find the same ones. No lucky. And then you go on Twitter and all these people are sharing all these different fish that they caught and you're like, how? <laughs> I always find the same ones, like the tadpole. But the heart pond could be like our little lake fishing spot. I could put some fishing items around it, or maybe I could m make something a little bit romantic, like a little hangout spot. But there's our little house over there. And if we go down here, this is where this part of the, um, the land ends, and then we have another river. And another waterfall, really pretty. So as you can see on the map, we're right over there. And if we just hop onto this one, we have the final portion, final part of our map. 
we have a long stretch of beach that I have no idea what to do with. We also have this little part of our island, which is unique. You can't alter this and it is different with every single map. I was thinking of maybe rising it up a little and putting a lighthouse on top of it, but I don't know. I don't know yet. And again, you can see some islands over there. But this is our island, pretty much. Now, I've been recording for 30 minutes. I'm actually gonna stop recording for now. I will catch up with you guys in the afternoon. Again, we'll play a bit more. I'm just scared. I don't know if the file corrupted because it was too big. I played for almost two hours. So that maybe could have been it. I'm just scared of making big files. We're just gonna take a break. We'll be right back. We are back, peeps. A little later than what I had initially planned. I'm sorry. Here's the thing. I've been hearing about something called the Tarantula Island, which is a nightmare. <laughs> but a tarantula is something that we haven't encountered in the game yet, surprisingly enough. Bayberry seems to be free of tarantulas. But I thought it would be cool to, you know, go on our first flight and see what do we end up getting. What if we get one of Tarantula Islands? It's gonna be a full-on nightmare, but it's gonna be entertaining. <laughs> oh gosh, but before we go, Dawn is still out and about. It's not that late though. It's 8. Oh, I can't catch anything. Well, keep trying. Don't give up, Dom. You can do it. So I actually forgot to read my mail this morning. We got something from Gulliver! Hey, it's Gulliver. Spoiler warning for the end of this letter. Please accept this gift as a big ol' thank you for saving me. It's probably... You probably had a more peaceful voyage to your island than I did. <laughs> I'm jealous. From Gulliver the Maritime Journeyman. Let's go get that gift. I don't even know if I have inventory space for all of this. Happy Home Academy! Points! 8,128. Rank B. Congratulations! You've collected lots of furniture and have really made your home your own. Enjoy the included gift and keep making that home happy. Oh boy. My house is not a happy house, <laughs> let me tell you that much. Do you see the centuria? <laughs> Oh, but let's see what we got. A sombrero! <gasps> oh my gosh, I love it! And we got, from the Apium Academy, a cacao tree. That's a plant. That would go very nicely on my house, actually. Thank you very much. Oh wow, look at this, it's all coming together. <laughs> Awesome. Let's go out. I want to go check out what Timmy has for sale today because I still haven't. And I want to see if I have any points. I don't know how many I have. I have enough for another ticket. That's good. We're probably going to need to travel to more than one island. So I'm going to leave behind. Mmm gonna need this gonna leave the watering can I'm gonna place it because I can and it's so cute I'm gonna take the fishing rod the vaulting pole I don't know if I need it it depends on the island we get I'm gonna drop the stones uh, the manila clam I can't okay can't place this thing so let's just craft what we can with it so the manila clam apparently only has one use, at least that's what I've been able to figure out so far. And it is used for fish baits. You use one manila clam and it's enough for one bag of baits. I still haven't used bait in the game, so I don't know how it works, but we could try this out as well. Maybe I'll try it out today. <laughs> I don't know, is the video gonna be too long? I don't want it to be too long. It can't be. We'll take a break somewhere. Let me drop the item. I'm gonna sell that butterfly. And I could leave this behind, honestly. I don't really feel need to farm this. So we can just leave it. Bada bing bada boom, our inventory is a little bit more free. Now let's go over here. 
Oh god, sombrero just takes up everything. <laughs> it glitches for everything, man. It's so big. Timmy, what do you have for sale? Okay, so today he has an inflatable sofa and it's rainbow. Gimme. <laughs> Gimme it. What is that next to it? An outdoor generator. That could be interesting, but it's also really pricey. Also, I finally took the time to go online and see what people were posting about, see like posts about tips and whatnot. And I just found out that if I press R, <laughs> Timmy has other things to sell. And one of those things is a slingshot. Oh gosh, I feel like a dummy. Cause it was right there and I didn't see it. I'll buy it, Timmy. <laughs> And we also got right here, this thing which is called DIY for Beginners. And this pretty much adds in some other recipes to our Nuke phone. So there's more stuff for us to craft, more options. I'm also gonna buy it. Okay, he's gonna send them over. Please do. I really hope we don't meet any villager that I like on the trip. Cause if I do, it's gonna hurt me. Cause I don't know if they can move in yet. We don't have plots laid out for them to move in. Oh, it's gonna be the worst. Um, I don't know if I want anything else. We also have saplings, we have some flowers. Red Yasinth bag, I don't... I'll buy that one. Just one. I want to see what it looks like, because I don't know what flower that is. Uh, nothing more, Timmy. Thank you. Ooh. Sold. Okay, now we're ready. Oh, gosh. Like, we'll also take a little look. <gasps> Guys. I saw tarantula. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it. What is it? Did it already disappear? Because they do disappear after a while. I don't see it anymore. It disappeared. Oh, let me go drop this. I'll place this if I can. Cool, cool. <laughs> and let me go ahead and learn this recipe right here. We'll do some crafting when we get back. Because I don't really want a slingshot in my inventory at the moment. I'm trying to free this. <laughs> let me plant this flower right here. And we're all set. Let's get a move on. Hello, hello. Orville, I'm back. Welcome to your one and only getaway to the skies, the Bayberry Airport. How can I help you today? I wanna fly. Roger. By the way, I got a new file stick it with your name on it behind the desk here, so use that whenever. I wanna use it now. Use a new file stick it. So you wanna use your ticket? Roger. In that case, I'll just take this ticket I got from Tom Nook. I'm ready to get you in sky right this minute, but let's just check. You all packed tools already? I think so. Time for takeoff, dude. Let's get you airborne. Airborne. Game is saving. Oh god. Dodo 1, this is Dodo Tower, Wilbur. You copy? Gotta walk her knees, wings over. Roger, ready where you are. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need to travel, just think, what would dodos do? Flail hopelessly <laughs> as they fall from the sky. <laughs> I'm sorry, Orville. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so cute. Wilbur. All right, we are down and docked at the Target Island. Delta Oscar, De Delta Oscar is go. First time getting your pontoons wet on tour. Let me brief you on a mystery island procedure. 
First, we run the finders keepers protocol here, lumber, fruit, fish, whatever. Yours if you can carry it. Next up, break a tool, forget one, I can requis requisition your replacement, gotta charge you miles though. Also, there's one red line item you need to memorize, like your favorite latte order. Anything you leave behind stays here. We don't come back to these places. Ever. Actually burn the flight plans afterward. Security reasons, can't explain more than that. Think that's everything, go explore. If you get into trouble, ask yourself, what would dodos do? Meanwhile, I'll be holding pattern here, get in touch when you ever need tools or travel. Go catch some bees and shop some trees. It's raining, so I doubt there will be a lot of those. We have tulips here and a campfire. And I see... Oh, is it hippos? It's a very fancy hippopotamus. There are so many fish in the lake. Hello, mister. Hello. Bubbles. <gasps> There's the Angela. I'm Bubbles, welcome to the fantastic island, get away! No, it's not my island, but it will be, I want to be a pop star and all pop stars on islands, okay, 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 yes, I am. <laughs> okay, we saw Tarantula. I don't see it. <laughs> Is this a problem? Is it still there? It's probably not there, it already went away. I missed it! Again! This is so upsetting! <laughs> At least we have the rocks that I came for. So the main goal for these trips is to get the item ore that I need. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll get lucky. I didn't know they spawned in the rain. That's a surprise to me. But then again, they seem to be a lot more common here than they were in New Leaf. I'm not gonna care about that bug, just leave it be. And apparently, I don't know what is more common if you hit it with this tool. Which is a, a good tip that I wish I'd known longer. <laughs> I actually got all my iron ore using a shovel in my other islands. It was painful. Ooh, there's a giant fish in the... in the lake. I must see what these fishes are. Hello? N not you. <laughs> the big ones. Okay. And we got... It's new, it's a carp. If I catch another, they can carpool. <laughs> Let me go ahead. I actually want to bring some of these tulips home. Even though I think my island has tulips. Might as well just go grab a few. Let me plot down these weeds, because I don't need them. I have plenty my island, trust me. Okay. Get that iron girl, get it. Is it normal to never get the last one with this tool? Cause I'm tapping, I'm tapping hard and it's getting me nowhere. <laughs> so far we got 21. That's pretty good. There's so many fish in this pond, it's crazy. Oh, we also have coconuts. Get out of here. <gasps> A snail. Oh my gosh. Come here. So cute! It's not much to brag about, but it's cute, man. There's also some fish in the sea. Okay. What is you? Is it a sea bass? Yup. You are going back in the water. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to the pond. It would be really cool if I could find another tarantula, but I don't know if that's gonna happen, because I... Oh, I suck. Okay, one of them looked at it. Here we go. A tadpole. I already caught one. 
We got another big one. That is awful, awful aiming. There we go. And it's another carp. Oh gosh. Are they all carps? Let's see. So we caught five fish. Pretty good. Okay, so I have with me one red tulip. I'm gonna get two of each color. And if you want to bring these flowers home, this is how you gotta do it. You don't just pick up the flowers like you would in previous games. You gotta shovel them. Oh, did I dig up this rock? I don't think I hit up that rock with my shovel. I gotta do it. Again? I don't know if I've caught a centipede before, but I need the item. Wait. I think I'm gonna be too late, but... It's gone, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, just my luck. <laughs> I really don't know what else I could do here. Maybe pick up some more coconuts. There's a message in a bottle over there. That's cool. You've got some solid luck. The other day I was coming up with a new strength routine and when a great DIY idea hit me instead. I was so amped up I did a triple set right then. Oh, and I wrote this. Now go flex some DIY might. Go team DIY custo. A doghouse? <laughs> Not what I was expecting from the letter. Will we see another tarantula? I don't think so. Bubbles, you gave me luck last time. Talk to me. The only thing better than kicking back and chilling on an island for a... Would it be to do it forever? Spending time on an island is the best way to find your inner calm and hug it as hard as you can. If I lived on an island, hipster, I'd be the calmest, most relaxed, safe pop star you've ever met. She's a peppy villager. Good luck relaxing. <laughs> I don't think I can invite any villager to move in with me at the moment. And I kind of want to see what the game gives me, you know? Okay, so far we got 23 out of nowhere. Not a whole lot. And no more spiders. None. Let me fish that fish. No, look at me. <gasps> okay, what is it? A can? Aren't you supposed to be... Aren't you supposed to catch the fish before you can it? Am I gonna get an idea for a DIY? Oh yeah. I wonder what it is. We can actually craft here. So we got a DIY recipe for... Oh my god, that is so cute! Oh my gosh! And here's the doghouse. It is a literal doghouse. <laughs> How can you work out at the doghouse? Doesn't make any sense. Castell, you're a weird fella, man. Well... I could shovel up the pine trees, but we do have them in our island, so I don't see a need for it. The peaches, I have peaches in my town. I still need more iron though, so I might need to go buy another ticket. Bell bottom soul, this is stove stovetop calculator. Do you require assistance? Over. I'm ready to go home, pal. You ready to put pontoons and fly soaring tulip here back to Bayberry? You positive? Be very positive, because I wouldn't want you leaving anything behind. So again, you ready? I am. I didn't leave anything behind. At least nothing that was mine. <laughs> Roger, lifting off November Os Oscar Whisker. Wings flapping just cracks me up. They're so tiny. <laughs> Those are like the birth form of T Rexes with their tiny wings. Okay, so let me go plant the flowers that I got. Oh, I actually got three yellow tulips. For what reason? I don't know, it just happened. 
Now, if I put two red tulips together and water them, I think that gives us pink tulips. I think two reds are more likely to give us pink than if we were to mix one red with one white. At least I think that's how it works. I don't remember exactly. I should also put the yellow next to the red. Because maybe it'll give me orange. See, we're doing some, some thinking, some flower breeding at the moment. By the way, as we go on with the series, I don't know how the schedule is going to be. I don't have my wiring can, I forgot. Because right now I have a, a week off from work, but I'm still working. You know, even though things are bad in Portugal because of the virus, uh, we can't close down anything because if people don't have food at supermarkets, so how are they going to be quarantined? There needs to be food at supermarkets. Factories still need to run. So for this week, I might upload like very frequently, but after that, I don't know how the schedule is going to go. Honestly, I don't know. Also, I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> I get so off track when I start talking. Okay, I'm ready. Tammy, what you doing? Can I take a picture? Did I take a photo? Oh my gosh, the screen went completely black. That scared the crap out of me. I thought the game was going to crash. Oh, these flowers are already watered because it was raining in the island. It makes sense. So I picked up my watering can for nothing. I'll leave it next to the flowers. I don't really need to carry it all the time. And I'm also gonna drop the coconuts right here. I'm gonna place a snail. And the carp if possible. Not show it off. <laughs> I can place it, okay. Awesome. Let's go buy another ticket. Let's go buy a ticket. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. Sorry. So it's only 2,000 mile points for it. It's not a lot. I'm gonna buy it. And we can easily get another, I think. I don't know. I really want to visit islands again during the daytime. Uh, no, I'm all done. I gotta save up my miles, man. <laughs> but it looks like I got more points, so that's good. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we'll get them back in no time. Let's go travel to that island. I should actually... Just take a little look-see around my island, see if there are any tarantulas. But I don't think they are. I could do this at the end. Just stop recording and then... <gasps> record the footage. I don't see it! Like, the spider needs to see me. I'm gonna swing my net. I'm gonna try to approach it and I think it saw me now. The thing is, I don't see it. Okay. Oh gosh, it's gonna take forever. Like, every time the tarantula rises its legs, I need to wait and approach it very slowly. The problem is, I can't see the spider right now. And I can't hear it very well. We're most likely gonna get bitten. <laughs> but you know what? It's going to be a very fun experience. Is the spider going away from me? Okay, I can see it now. Oh, don't let it fall in the water. Like, this might be good to catch it. What if I fail? Oh, I got it! I got it! <gasps> the situation just got hairy. <laughs> oh, that was lucky. And turns out there are tarantulas in Bayberry. They're just a little rarer to find. I still gotta go on another tour. 
Let me go drop the tarantula next to the other bugs that I caught on the trip. Oh my gosh, so exciting! I'm ready for another trip, Orville. <laughs> Always working so hard with these little wings. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. It's just so precious. It's raining as well? What the heck? What kind of luck is this? And this island also has beaches. Not a surprise. <gasps> Sucker! I have his amiibo, but like still. I don't know if the sound I'm hearing is like... um a bug underground, or if it is a frog on the ponds. Actually, this is a river. This would be much easier with headphones. I'm just gonna be digging holes forever. Zucker's gonna think I'm crazy. This island also has tulips. I was expecting some other variety. That's a little sad, okay. Still. I gotta do what I came for. The Iden. Don't give me clay. I know it's raining and all, but like, come on. Okay. I hear it so clearly. Where are you? This pisses me off. <laughs> I can't. I can't stand this anymore. Okay, to talk to Zucker, I need to cross. So good thing I brought my little pole. Hello! Hi! Ah, oh, there's someone on this island! Oh, you're visiting too? Hey, I'm Zucker. You're Claudia, right? From Bayberry? Neat! I didn't expect to make a friend here. The island's... this island's so cool. Bloop! <laughs> This island has so much nature. Every place you look is nature. It's really neat. I could stay here forever, pointing at stuff, saying that's nature. <laughs> oh, sucker. Man, it'd be really neat to live on an island like this. Full time, I mean, just living life, pointing at nature. Okay, so I'm gonna run a little experiment. Do you want to come live on my island? Live on Bayberry, right? Is it like this there too? Well, then I wanna go. If your island's as cool as you, then I wanna go, Claudia. Oh, shucks. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you. By the way, what should I do to move to Bayberry? So if I call your Mr. Tom No, he'll tell me everything. Thanks. I'll call him and say hi. <laughs> Today's the best day since I found out what Pasgetti was. Oh my gosh, the cutie. I mean, Zucker would be perfect for Bayberry. Because, you know, I'm trying to go for more of a natural theme, but also, you know, cutesy and kind of like sweet themed. So, villagers like him and Meringue would be like perfect, pretty much. Zucker, don't ruin my little excavation process. There goes the centipede. And I can't catch, because I need the item. Let's see if I can. Oh, I had the net on me and I, I lost it. <laughs> I lost the bug. Okay, let's cross. And let me see here. We still have the soda rock to hit. We got 30 though! We did it! We can get our first shop in town. Okay, here we go. Some extra iron wouldn't hurt. It seems to be a recurring item that you need for crafting. Oh, I hear it here now. It might be a frog. But usually frogs spawn... in lakes, not in rivers. I am so confused. You guys don't understand. <gasps> it was a bug. It was a flippy mole cricket, I knew it! Oh, I really dug it. <laughs> it 
took me forever to find it. Because you don't know. You don't know if it is a frog or a cricket. You just don't know. And you end up digging up a lot of holes and villagers think you're crazy. <laughs> Why are you digging holes during nights? I don't know. Burying my gold, I guess. <gasps> the wharf roach. They spawn on the rock. Oh? Don't run. You want to be my friend, you know you want to. Boom. Oh, it's so teeny tiny. This water loving roach has no peer. There's another mole cricket. Are you flipping serious? Not gonna dig up a whole nother mess. <laughs> I'm done. I kind of want to fish in the water though. Come on. What is you? Oh, that's new. It's a knife something fish. <laughs> I got a very knife jaw. They must have a really hard time eating. I remember part of the name. <laughs> That's good enough. Do I have space? No, my inventory is completely full. I also brought in weeds. You know what? Since I don't want to take down the weeds from my islands, might as well just grab these for the recipe. Because I want to do some crafting. We need four more. Okay. Ooh, there's a big fish over there. What is you? Are you a sea bass? I swear to God. <laughs> if you are. I'm gonna be mad. Is it? It is. Oh, oh it's a black bass. Surprising. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still mad. Just let it go. Come on. Thank you. Oh! It's a big boy! I caught an olive flounder. I did not expect him to be this big. That's not the pits. Oh, swap it. Honey, I don't see anything else. Shall we go back? Maybe? Perhaps we should? It looks like it's daytime from inside here. It's so warm and inviting. And then you go out and there's tarantulas and Tammy sitting on a bench. <laughs> Just looking into nothingness. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I gotta put the fish that I caught away. I could even put a me. <laughs> but this is my flower garden. I'm ruining the garden. Maybe I could move the fish all next to the museum. I might do that. Because over here we're taking up so much space and it's already too crowded here. Dom is gonna get so tired of me, he's gonna want to move out because I keep all my crap outside. Um, let me place this item. I already got this one. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna check my Craterpedia, but I'm like 99% sure. Okay. So now when it comes to crafting, there's a few things that I want to do. This is one of them. It's so cute! And there's another thing that has been caught in my eye and is, has been keeping me curious too, which is this thing over here, the shell table. We need seven sand dollars and clay, which we have plenty of. So I'm gonna try to keep a look, an eye out for that. I'm also gonna bring materials needed for the shop and already turn them over to Timmy. About building a shop. All right, now we're asking residents for their help in donating the materials we need to build a shop. I like to donate. Oh, you'll make a donation? Thank you so much for helping us. Let's see, you brought in... Oh my, you brought in everything we need, all at once. I know, I did. Are you really going to provide all four kinds of materials right now? Yes, these are for you, man. All this hard work for you. Oh my goodness, this means we have everything we need to get started on our shop. As a thank you, please take some elephant print pants, some sepia puzzle flooring, and a round space heater. Some very interesting items. <laughs> One more thing. 
since we have all materials we need and can start construction on the shop, they're already starting to talk like Tom Nook, because Tom Nook is always like, one more thing. We like you, key figure in making this happen to pick out the perfect location for the new shop. I got you, man. As long as I can move everything out of the way later on. <laughs> I can place anything you want. Timmy, don't be too worried about location. Okay, I don't have a lot of space. Actually, I do have some space now, but I would like to keep my shops here in this area. Maybe I'll build it like over here somewhere. Here? Or is that too close to our houses? I don't know. Let me imagine it. Oh, I kind of like it, but there's like the houses behind it and that's bothering me a little. No, I'm gonna build it here. Screw it, we can always move it later on. I just don't want to get rid of the rock. That rock is essential for my island survival, but I don't think it's gonna stay. Well, okay, build it. There goes my rock. <laughs> this is where the shop will go. I bet this island is about to become a whole lot livelier. Oh, it's me between these two trees. That's so cute. Oh, that's perfect. Tammy, you're still here. Interesting. Let me go take a look at the beach, see if we have any clams. We do. Clam sand dollars. Which are these, but apparently they're not all the same. So we're really gonna need to gather these like every time we can. Hello, little fish. Oh, also, we can use fish baits. I'll go grab that in a sec. Because I want to try it out. Look at it. Oh, you are so rude. Oh, it's another olive flounder. Uh, let's swap it. Because it's probably worth a lot more than these apps. <laughs> Just my guess. Yes, I, I put down shop. I forgot to go talk to you. <laughs> We've got our work cut out for us. If, you're, if we're going to open by tomorrow, we're going to have the museum and the shop tomorrow. Things are going so fast. Okay, so let me go pick out the bait. And I don't know if I need to go to a specific place to like make this be more effective to finding like more rare fish because I'm guessing this is what it does. Maybe I could go to the pier. <gasps> There's another one. Could I catch it? I don't know. Okay, stay put. Don't move me. I don't know if I can catch it. It's super close to the cliff. That's the problem. And I'm most likely gonna hit the cliff instead of the spider. But here we go. We're gonna try it either way. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to try. We'll just pass out. But we'll, we won't lose anything. It really is fine. <laughs> oh gosh. Am I close enough? I don't know. I might be. I'm not! <laughs> oh, it's too close. The good news is we got no miles for that. <laughs> Faint of art, this island is home to creepy crawlers that would make anyone lightheaded. Maybe wielding a net will make you less likely to faint. I was wielding a net. There was just a cliff in the way. That was a problem. <laughs> Gosh, awful, awful, awful. Tarantulas are worth a lot of money. That's why I'm like, I gotta catch them. And fainting is not really a big problem. You will get back on your feet. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's Wisp. Hello? No, a ghost! 
Wisp, it's me! <laughs> Please, I haven't done anything wrong, just let me go! Ah, a human? A real life human? I've been on this island for so long, for a long time, but I've never seen a human. Oh, you just moved here? Oh, okay, well, that explains everything. You are very trustworthy, Wisp, I'm worried for you. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Wisp, nice to meet you. I, well, I'll just be honest with you. I love the darkness, especially nighttime, but I'm afraid of ghosts. Ew, this little run-in with you has me all shaken up. You scared some pieces of my spirit right out of me. Looks like they flew off when we bumped into each other. There's no way I can stay like this, what a pickle. Mm, I'm sorry to ask this of you, but could you maybe collect the pieces of my spirit that flew away? Otherwise I'll be like this forever and I cannot deal with that. <laughs> Please help, I promise there'll be something good in, a, in it for you. Now let's see here. There are five pieces of my spirit in all. You should be able to find them floating around the island. You'll need a net to catch them. Oh, wonderful. I need to yield my net. <laughs> you know, who doesn't like nets? Tarantulas. <laughs> I'm counting on you. Thank you. Okay, we got a mission. What I might do is maybe do this off camera. I'll catch one spirit. So you guys get the gist of how this is. And what it is like. I'm just afraid the video is going to be too long if I spend some time trying to find all spirits because they do take a while to catch. Oh, look, a little wisp. It's so cute. Let me go try the fishing bait. Oh, goodness. Let's see if this thing is worth it. Okay. Wow, this is all you give me? And it is a mackerel. Well, that was worth it. <laughs> Let's see if we can find any spirits. Oh, there's one. I just need to find my nets, which could take a while. Don't go anywhere. Come here. Come. No. Oh, you really are gonna make me do this, huh? So this is the little spirit. And we... It's kind of tricky to catch because it's just floating around. But here it is. It's kind of cold. And there's four more to go. I don't know, maybe I'll find them more easily here. It was quite hard in my other save file. Oh, there's another one. Are they all on the main islands? They might be. Huh. Second piece. The third. Don't say finally, we're, this is only the third one. <laughs> There's still two more to go. Okay, they might be all on the main lands. That makes it rather easy. No wonder I have so much trouble in my other islands, because I kept checking on the entire island, not only on this specific area. This is what it's gonna come down to, the last piece, I cannot find it. Oh, just my luck. Oh, dude, there's a bug on top of the flowers. I think that's a stink bug. But I could be wrong. Why oh, is it staying still now? Did it notice me? Okay, 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 okay. There we go. We got it. It is a stink bug. I know those fellas. <laughs> Where is the last piece? We got a balloon. If only I had my slingshot. I still haven't made it. We'll focus on that tomorrow. I can't do it all just in one part. That's why they end up getting so long. I want to do everything. Everything I can. <laughs> I see it. I see it. Okay. See, it was on that other side. Boom. We got it. Let's return them to Wisp. Let's. Where is my. Okay. Liz, where are you? Oh, there he is. It's so cute, like this. You did it, you found all the pieces of my spirit. Come on, hand them over, hurry. 
Here you go. Oh wow, perfect. That that's all five pieces. And there he goes. The cutie himself. Ah, oh, back to normal. Ew, thank goodness. And thank you, I feel wonderful. Alright, I need to give you the reward I promised. What's it going to be? Well, who doesn't love furniture? Really? I can get you something you don't have yet, or I can get you something expensive. So what's going to be? Here's the thing, I'm new to the game. Everything is pretty much new to me. Something expensive? I feel like th that's the option everyone is gonna go for, but like, what is expensive? Because there are things that are expensive, but they're not great, and then there are those that are super expensive, but I don't think that he's gonna give me something like that. Something new. Surprise me. You know, just surprise me. Something you don't have yet. You know, there's a lot that I don't have. <laughs> Well, whether or not you're, you already got a lot of stuff, I think I have just the item for you. I don't have a lot of stuff, Wisp. Here, have a board game. Okay, that's fun. I'll put this item in your pocket, okay? Let me just say I hope our paths cross again sometime. Until then, farewell. Oh, there he goes. And we just got some more Nook Miles for the Wispy Island Secrets. If you happen to encounter one of the Island Secrets, maybe just keep it to yourself. We don't want to scare anyone away from here. Pretty sure that's in your island contract. What, Tom? What did you make me sign? Oh, there's a new bug. What is that? Dude, we're doing good now, all of a sudden. <laughs> Before we had zero bugs spawning. Is the bug upside down? The poor thing. I caught a man face stink bug. Reminds me of my uncle. Oh my gosh, he does look like a face. Is that like an actual bug? I'll swap it. Keep swapping it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be ending this here. It's been a, a good time, good time. Oh, there's a butterfly. Oh, what butterfly is that? Is that a paper kite? They are... They have blue? Oh, I can't catch it. <laughs> no, it's something new! An emperor butterfly! Oh, swap it. Honey, we need it. <laughs> Today has been a crazy good day for catching. Even though we fainted once. But that one doesn't count. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until the next one, goodbye everybody. Take care.